Now at noon, two longtime CBS executives are on administrative leave while the company looks into alleged racist and sexist behavior first reported by the Los Angeles Times. Peter Dunn, CBS television station's president, and David Friend, senior vice president of news for the stations, were suspended pending a full investigation. CBS 4's Jerika Duncan reports. According to allegations laid out in the Los Angeles Times investigation, Peter Dunn's management was hostile, racist, and crude. According to legal papers obtained by the L.A. Times from a former employee of our Philadelphia station, KYW-TV, Dunn referred to veteran anchor Yuki Washington, who's black, as Jive. Another former employee echoed that claim. Philadelphia health officials are Dunn allegedly disparaged Washington often, according to the L.A. Times, and would say that, quote, all he does is dance. In a statement on air last night, KYW sportscaster Don Bell responded to the story. Our Yuki Washington is the most hardworking, authentic, caring, and skilled journalist I've ever been around. Yuki is our quarterback. He's the crown jewel of Philly. But the allegedly harmful rhetoric did not stop with Dunn. According to claims in the Times report, his lieutenant, senior vice president David Friend, also disparaged colleagues. He was allegedly critical, for example, when KYW hired journalist Brooke Thomas as a morning anchor in 2016. Former news director Margaret Cronin described to the L.A. Times a phone call with Friend on Thomas's second day on air as just venom and profanity. He screamed, tell her to shut the expletive up. Thomas, who was black, was let go just months later. We have spent every weekday morning together for the last two years. And according to the Times report, Dunn allegedly objected to extending the contract of journalist Rahel Solomon, who's Ethiopian and had replaced Thomas, in part because, quote, I hate her face. In a statement to the Times, Friend said, these comments I may have made about our employees or prospective hires were only based on performance or qualifications, not about anyone's race or gender. Former CBS This Morning co-host Charlie Rose was terminated over sexual harassment allegations in 2017, allegations which he denies. After his firing, CBS began an investigation into workplace culture, allowing employees to share any stories of alleged harassment. A subsequent investigation eventually led to the firing of then-chairman and CBS CEO Les Moonves, who denies all allegations of misconduct. Allegations against Peter Dunn came up during investigations into workplace culture in 2019. Former KYW general manager Brian Kennedy says Dunn fired him for cooperating with the investigation. CBS released a statement to the L.A. Times this week saying they haven't had any complaints against Dunn since. On Sunday night, CBS Entertainment Group chief George Cheeks met with leadership from the National Association of Black Journalists. Afterward, NABJ said in a statement that in order for the company's culture to be transformed, it must begin with the firing of Dunn and Friend. In an internal email Monday, Cheeks promised to foster and maintain a positive, inclusive, and equitable workplace. The network also committed to an independent investigation of the allegations raised in the Times and said it would take appropriate action in a public statement announcing Dunn and Friends suspensions. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, New York. And Dunn declined to comment to the Los Angeles Times about the allegations made against him. CBS 4 and MyTV 33 are part of the CBS television stations group owned by Viacom CBS.